Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending where you're sitting in the world. Thank you very much for uh, joining us uh, at this uh, presentation. My name is Grégory Demailly. I am the Woodwind Product Manager for uh, the Buffet Crampon Group, and I'm very thrilled to welcome you here in this very uh, special uh, stage, which is like maybe a a virtual showroom or maybe more a connected showroom because you're going to have maybe you already have the possibility to send uh, your question thanks to the um, uh, little uh, white field under your, your video screen. Um, I will take this moment later to answer all of your questions but please don't wait the end of the presentation to uh, send your question uh, it will ease the work of the guys over here uh, to, uh, to, col to collect the question by uh, thematic. So here we are, this is the presentation of uh, the Gala clarinet. This is a professional instrument, a professional clarinet, 100% uh, made in France, 100% uh, uh, designed and developed uh, in mont and. This project, uh, from the very beginning, was masterminded to answer uh, an always growing demand from uh, the market since we released the tradition in 2017 for uh, a very, very affordable professional instrument. And we at uh, Buffet Crampon are committed. We, we make it uh, our mission to uh, provide an instrument on uh, every budget. And this is one of the main reasons that explain the width of our commercial offer, the width of our uh, catalogue. There is a second reason, uh, uh, but I would like to, to wait a moment before uh, talking about that. It is about the concept of uh, the families uh, of Bohr. So, as I said, it is a very affordable uh, instrument. Its uh, recommended public price is 2000 300 euros excluding taxes. 2,300 euros excluding taxes. So Gala, as uh, any uh, clarinet at Buffet Crampon, has all the markers of the brand, all the markers that set up the uh, identity of uh, our brand. And those markers are for us in the development like parameters with which we play to uh, create a new instrument, to, to create a new design of sound. Uh, the first of them is uh, obviously the sound, because we want every instrument to be recognized by uh, their sound. Um, and as a result, we pay much attention to uh, what we call the harmonic overtones. As you may know, uh, a sound is made by um, a fundamental uh, a sound, a fundamental tone, which gives its name to, uh, to the note. And there is a, a, an addition of harmonics of overtones. I would rather say um, a combination of uh, harmonics uh, overtones that we want to be very rich and, uh, and powerful. The second marker for us is, um, what can I say in, in English, uh, the uh, the overall uh, balance registers. Actually, the, the, tendence, the, the acoustic tendencies of a clarinet, and especially a clarinet, is, uh, are characterized by um, the, its uh, second registers, which is located uh, 12 above the, f uh, the first registers. And it is typical to clarinets, because all the other woodwinds uh, have an octave between their, their registers, which is indeed a, a smaller jump uh, to do. And uh, so playing along those uh, register on a clarinet is therefore trickier as uh, a saxophone or a flute, a flute player, as an example. And, and just as an example, because I don't want any trouble with the saxophone and flute players, of course. Cool guys. And then the third uh, markers, least but not last, uh, the emission, the emission uh, uh, of the instrument is uh, very important for us. It's the way that the instrument gets uh, into a vibration, the way that the inner surface of the instrument gets into vibration. 
And it is also our, we make it also as a, uh, our mission to uh, ease the ignition, the, the, the vibration and its resonance wherever, the, wherever you play, uh, in a big hall, in a tiny room or even outside. So if we want to go deeper in the specs of this clarinet, of this uh, Gala clarinet, uh, it has all the specification of the other professional and tri level clarinets like RC and R13. It has is a black stain wood on every part of, it, of the clarinet, the barrel, the upper joint, the lower joint and the bell. Also very important for any clarinet, any professional clarinet, is the chimneys here, the finger stone holes. They are made in real grenadilla. They are not made in plastic. Uh, this clarinet also is available uh, with, uh, is equipped, sorry, with two barrels uh, and it will allow you to, um, uh, to tune your instrument uh, with two pitch, the 440, and the 442 hertz pitch. Uh, but be careful, the barrel you're going to receive with the clarinet are different depending you play a B clarinet or, or a, a clarinet. Uh, when you're going to receive your B clarinet, there will be a 65 millimeter barrel and an extra 66. If you play your A clarinet, you're going to receive a 65 millimeter barrel, which is different than the B and also an extra 64, which is shorter than uh, the extra barrel on the B clarinet. This clarinet is also available with uh, two configuration of uh, keywork. This one, as you can see, is, a 16, is 17 keys and six rings, one, two, three, four, five, and six. It has no uh, E-flat lever on the left. But you can also have this configuration with the 18 keys configuration, as an example here or here on this beautiful uh, uh, boxwood legend. There is the E-flat lever here on the left. <coughs> also here, there is the adjustable thumb breast that you can adjust uh, the height of your thumb or your wrist, simply like this. So, as you can see also here, the global aesthetic of the, the clarinet. We wanted its appearance uh, with uh, sobriety and elegance, and it is the, the reason why we put uh, a, nickel, a black nickel plating on the rings here, as well on the um, uh, medallion here, where it is engraved gala, and it's filled in with uh, a gold uh, wax pen. And uh, to finish with the specs, uh, the bell here, the famous uh, bottomed flap shape that we put on every uh, modern clarinet. And this is almost like a return to the future because it is actually the historical shape of uh, the buffet crampon bells. It is the traditional uh, shape of uh, um, our bells. And it gives more projection to the sound and a projection to the entire tessiture of the, the instrument, not only uh, the knot uh, at the bottom of the instrument. So, as I explained to you at the beginning, there was a second reason to explain the width of our uh, uh, catalog, which is the concept of the families of bore. Uh, this is like uh, uh, another grid of reading of our catalog that explain the, uh, the, the numerous reference we have in. It started in uh, 1954 with the clarinet R13 developed by uh, Robert Carré. It was the first clarinet with a polycylindrical bore. The polycylindrical bore is the, the, the name we gave to the design to the uh, inner surface of the clarinet. There is some cones and cylinder uh, shapes in uh, that gave uh, first uh, the identity uh, of the instrument by the sound, but also that gave the, the stability and the balance of its uh, uh, intonation. So it started with the R13, which is the most famous clarinet in the world, the clarinet we, we still sell the most. And above of this one, uh, there is uh, uh, the R13 Prestige, Festival and uh, Vintage. 
And if we go at the top range of the R13 family, you're going to find the Tosca. The Tosca is indeed uh, a member of this uh, family. It doesn't mean that the R13, the Festival and the Tosca has the same bore, but they have the same properties, they have the same uh, um, related dimensions uh, uh, in the in inner surface, surface of their bore. Later in the time, there was in 1974 the clarinet RC, uh, also developed by uh, Robert Carré. It is its, his uh, initials. And uh, uh, a step up of um, uh, the RC in the specificity we have uh, RC Prestige. And on the top range of this family, we have the clarinet Divine that has been released in 2012. And Divin was also a break in our catalogue because uh, 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 the target of the project was to make a very light clarinet. And this is the reason why this clarinet has absolutely no rings. And finally, we, in uh, 2017, we created uh, a new uh, family, uh, a third family with the clarinet uh, uh, tradition and legend uh, a year after. And uh, that's also the reason we decided to put uh, the gala clarinet at the entry level of this family because a gala and tradition clarinet has, have the same um, origin, which is the BC-20 that was released in 1960. Uh, when we developed the tradition, we took the, uh, um, the BC-20, we didn't touch at, at its board, and we adjust all the, the tone holes uh, uh, shapes to, to get rid of all the intonation issues, and especially the, the undercuts. But when, when we uh, started to develop the gala, we took the BC-20 and we applied all the, the knowledge we, we've learned on the polycylindricity, as well as the uh, tone holes uh, knowledge uh, and the other undercuts uh, knowledge. And we, we get into this uh, prototype and we are, that we are very happy to present uh, today. So that was a, a small speech about the family of Bohr. I think it's a good uh, uh, reading of uh, the catalogue to have a better understanding of this uh, huge uh, catalogue. This clarinet uh, gala B and A are already available because we started the production early September. There are, you, can see, you can already see this uh, clarinet in our showrooms in Paris or in Amsterdam. Um, I don't think that uh, the clarinet will uh, wait a, a long time to, to go to China, Japan or America because our showrooms over there will be equipped uh, very soon. So maybe we can go further and, ask, and see if there is some questions already here. Alors, is there a green line version? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> This project was, uh, at the beginning, developed with uh, uh, a wooden clarinet. Uh, there was, uh, uh, by the past, some clarinet uh, at the beginning developed in green line, like uh, Tosca or Festival. But this one was uh, made in wood at the very beginning of the prototype. But we never know if there is a big demand of the market, we will, uh, we will do it uh, so. So, uh, will it come with a case? Uh, which is the wh what is the case? This one, it's the well-known uh, pochette style uh, case, uh, buffet crampon, with uh, an automatic opening like this. Tac. <coughs> uh, it will come in this case. If you buy a B clarinet, if you buy an A clarinet, it, it's going to come in a double case. Uh, voilà. And you can, you can buy also, if you wish, uh, this clarinet without the case. It was a question here. Okay, okay another question maybe. Who are the artists uh, who has been worked on this model? This is a very interesting question. Uh, on any project we develop at Buffet Crampon, uh, it, it is important for us to have a team of development because when we launch a clarinet over the world, uh, it will meet a lot of different way of playing. And that's the reason why we always have 
uh, different developers who are uh, international, international soloists. Uh, you already know uh, them. It's Michel Arignon, Paul Meyer, and Nicolas Balderou. What is the difference with the RC model? Also a very good question. As I said earlier, it is the clarinet that is made like a RC, but this one has uh, something very particular compared to RC or R13, is its price. Its price is uh, much, uh, most, uh, much uh, cheaper than an RC or R13. Um, its recommended public price uh, is 2,300 euro excluding taxes, depending the countries. Why did you choose to use black nickel? It was for only aesthetic reason. Of course, we made a lot of tests with uh, a gold, a matte finish and everything, but uh, finally, as the target uh, was to, to, to present something uh, with a lot of uh, sobriety and elegance, we, will, we, will, we, we all agreed uh, for uh, this uh, color, which is a, a black nickel plating. Where can I test it? You have different options. You can go to your retailer, your favorite retailer. You can go also in our showrooms. Uh, or if you want to make a selection, you can come also at the factory in France. We have uh, the, pro the, the sanitizing protocols that uh, are running quite well. There's absolutely no risk. Uh, and uh, in the showroom as well. You just have to make a call, make an appointment, and the showroom will be uh, uh, booked uh, only for you. I am a student. Is this model okay for me? It depends uh, what kind of student you are. If you have just started, if it is your first, second or third year, maybe, third year, maybe it's better for you to play a E13. But if you are already in uh, fourth, fifth uh, years, or even uh, becoming a, a new professional, you can, of course, uh, uh, play this clarinet. Uh, there's no more question. So, uh, I hope that uh, uh, you uh, enjoy this uh, presentation. I hope, also, I hope also that you understood my uh, French English at the morning here in France. Uh, please uh, feel free to visit our website. You're going to find the product uh, leaflet of the gala in the folder uh, instruments. And if you pass by our social uh, medias, Give, it, give us a big thumb up. It will uh, make us very happy and it will help us to be uh, more visible on the internet. Voilà. Bonne journée, bon après-midi, bonne soirée. Au revoir.